everyone, I'm Sarah and thank you so much for joining me for my plan with me this week. This is going to be for May 25th through 31st, that is this upcoming Monday through the following Sunday. Typically I would not post um, this many weekly plan with me's, but I just changed my pen and I really wanted to record it um, just for my benefit so I could watch and see like how different the process would be with this Micron instead of the <laughs> uh, gel pen that I was using before this. Um, so I figured, you know, it would be good to upload and I can kind of talk about um, the differences here. So I have already uploaded a plan with me with the same layout, um, but again, I've changed my materials here a little bit. Um, so, you know, it looks pretty familiar. We've got just a two page spread with blocks for each day um, and I'm kind of keeping with this funky 70s flower theme uh, that was kind of what I went with with May um, so you can kind of see that throughout here with like the little rounded edges and the flowers and I think I have an alien in here too coming in a little bit um, the thing to remember though if you're doing a spread like this and you want elements of the page like we have on this left side that are kind of overlapping your uh, boxes, make sure you do those first. Uh, <laughs> I messed this up last week and every flower that I ended up drawing ended up being behind the boxes, but it's really nice to just have something breaking up those same lines. Um, so yeah, I guess I just want to talk a little bit about how different this was for me uh, using these Micron pens instead of the gel pen that I've been used to. Um, I felt like it really sped up my process and it felt much cleaner. Uh, the gel pen was definitely uh, smearing a lot and you know, I would end up with these little smudges all over my page. And I ended up getting actually one of those um, on this page. Oh, it's right there. Yep. <laughs> uh, just because I was holding the pen a little sloppy and ended up hitting the page with it. Um, but using these microns honestly really made the whole thing feel much cleaner and tighter and it just, it came out looking so much better. So I'm definitely converted to using this type of pen. Um, or marker. I guess it's a marker technically. Um, it doesn't feel quite as smooth to use as the uh, gel pen did. It doesn't have that same, like, I don't know. You know how some pens just feel really nice? <laughs> it doesn't have that for me uh, yet, maybe. Um, but, you know, it, it still turned out pretty okay. So here I'm going through and I'm trying to do like bold kind of bubbly lettering for the days of the week. Uh, and this particular Micron is a 005 size. Uh, so I think I need to actually pick up uh, some that are a little bit thicker because I do uh, prefer that look. But honestly, this still worked just fine. But I was not going to get through with these giant bubble letters and do that in the Micron pen. That just seemed like a huge waste of time. So I'm just going in with um, another marker to kind of fill that out a little. Okay, so now I'm going through and adding the weather for this upcoming week. Um, I do the temperature on the left side and then I do a little icon for the weather on the right side. Um, I just started doing this this month and I honestly really love how it looks. I think it's super cute and it helps me a lot with my planning. The only problem is that sometimes the weather can change and if you're setting up your bullet journal earlier in the week, you know, you might end up saying like, oh, Friday it's gonna rain, we're gonna have a thunderstorm, and then Friday comes around and it's beautiful and you didn't plan um, your outdoor activities that you would have otherwise. Um, so I added in my habit tracker in the top left and now I'm going through uh, adding a little bit of color to this. I'm using Zebra Midliner Highlighters. Um, I can link to these in the description below if you like them, but I have four colors that I'm using for every May spread this month. 
And this was definitely where I noticed the biggest difference in using the microns. Um, I ended up getting a lot of smudging with my gel pen when I was going through with the color. Um, it would just pick it up and drag it and it would get the color all muddy. But now I'm getting this really beautiful, like pure colors. Um, they look great as this drop shadow. Like I'm not having any trouble going over these lines. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, honestly, the microns, that's the way to go. I'm super happy with this. And that's my weekly spread. Thank you so much for watching. It was great to have you. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notifications whenever I put up new content. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys soon.